that they don't get more than like two or three hits. Uh, but we'll see if that comes out here. Looks like we got Robin playing as upside down versus Tubix Steve. So this is going to be interesting because both characters like they're camping. So we're going to see how yeah, this actually plays out. Although upside down being a strangely a little bit aggressive, but here he goes setting up that wall and going for the setting down oh yeah. blocks into side being over the whole situation. Eleven sword out, just swinging. Oh, yeah. Upside down is doing a really good job of just stuffing out Steve's options right now, but he's got to be careful here because one up tilt, that's going to be a solid 50%. Now pulling out that minecart jump, that's going to be a really huge one against Steve players. Absolutely, and this is looking scary for Tubic already. I'm impressed with yeah, the we gets off the ledge here. We're seeing. Oh, and trading with that uh, arc fire. That's unfortunate, just not buffering the up B in time and falling to his death. Well, upside down's got a pretty solid lead. I, I got to admit I've never heard of him before this, but he's putting in some work against Tubi. Yeah, no, this is some impressive stuff. Okay, and the card actually beat out the fire there. That's an interesting interaction. Well, Steve's had very little time to mine. And it looks like he's out of uh, spells right now. Might have his arc fire back. Oh, there we go, and now his thunder's back. That's very good. And wow, 11 swords out. he's really stuffing him out right now. Tubic's struggling to get in, but we've all seen Steve before, and we know that he can just make those comebacks. Okay, getting that up tilt on the TNT on the platform. If you don't know, there's a certain spot that you can hit it where it just won't hit Steve, but it'll hit everywhere else. So right now, to me, Tubic looks a little lost on what to do. Trying to get space, but not enough time to mine. Not yeah. enough time to get any good combo started, because this Robin is really just boxing oh. right there. And calling out the cart again with the forward air there. 11 forward air, very strong tool. Robin doing surprisingly well in this matchup. And using arc fire over the blocks, they don't even have to break it. Now threading the needle with those projectiles, trying to get through the box. Oh, oh but using that, uh, using his crafting table to extend his down smash for the kill there. And uh-oh, big damage. There we go, that's what we've been talking about. Solid 50%. They're doing a good job to mix up his DI at least a little bit. So wow. More, wow. Was that Arc Thunder uncharged into Nair? Yeah, that stun was nasty. I did not know that was a thing. I straight up thought that was going to kill. That was insane. That's a bad DI. It might have. Upside down. Definitely making this scary. And we'll have to see if Tubic can make something work. Because right now it's looking like a wrap. But missing the up B and no punish. Upside down starting to go for some more sloppy options. Just because that... Big lead. Maybe Not really feeling pressure. the pressure a little bit. Oh, oh this could be Tubic's chance back in. Oh, but blowing himself up, and now Upside Down's in even a better spot, but Tubic being very smart about how he recovers there, just taking that, but not quite going to kill. One good hit will take it. See if he can get it. the kill here. Oh, that should be it. There it is. Yep, and the kill confirm out of Arc Fire. Very strong options. Uh, going into game two, what do you think will be the next stage? That's a good question. Something where Steve can maybe set up camp a little bit better. I think that was something I wanted to see a little bit more. Some more mining, some more setting up yeah. of their home base. It definitely looked like uh, like in the beginning uh, that Tubic was kind of going aggro there, which I think was not the play, especially for this matchup. I definitely want to see him camping behind some platforms, just making Robin's uh, life a little bit more difficult, exactly. setting up those walls. Because I think that if he had started with a lead, that could have been much more feasible. But we'll have to see how it goes here. Um, okay, we're seeing an attempt to get that space in mine a little. Yeah, but unfortunately he already had more damage, but he got an opening. Now he's got the percent lead, so he could theoretically camp if he wants to. But it looks like Back he's still going you. aggro and kind of losing out to this Robin Sword here. Small Battlefield was an interesting choice. I wonder what was banned, because it does seem like there's just not enough room for Steve to get anything really started. There we go. I feel like here, uh, Tubic was just like, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't the stage, it was me. Um, so you just run, run in it back, I can respect that. Uh, and forward air out of shield, being very obnoxious here. Uh, definitely just uh, shielding whatever is coming his way. So Robin really slices through these boxes. I don't know if that's normal, but that seems really powerful here. Anytime Ooh. Steve's trying to set up anything. And fortunately for Tubic there, he got the sour spot of F Smash because a sweet spot might have killed there. With that uh, hard call out on the roll from Ledge. 
Okay, finding his way around. Very smart with using the arc fire. And then the follow-up pressure with Nair. We know how scary that can be after that last game. That was Levin, might have killed. Oh, and wow. the forward air just calling his jump out. Right off the top. This is looking like a like a swift 2-0. I don't know if it's uh, later in brackets, so maybe it's best of five, but this is looking scary. Yeah, I wonder if the Steve can adapt and figure out how to step out Robin's approaches. Because at the beginning, we saw that happen where the Robin was approaching a little bit sloppily, and Steve met with some aggression to actually catch and do quite a bit of percent. So Yeah, but upside down playing hella uh, safe here and throwing a uh, Levin Sword there. Always love to see the interesting stuff that Robins do when they drop their Levin Sword. Well, that arc fire led to such a powerful tool. Really just shutting down any opportunity for Steve to camp here. Like, you can't set up his wall because uh, if he just sets up the one, then there's an arc fire coming above and he sets up the other, and he just breaks it. Robin's not a character you usually see in competitive bracket very often, and this is a real tree, I think, seeing one of the most aggressive and skillfully wielded Robins I've ever seen. Oh, oh, there we go. And that did not look like it blocked it, but, you know, Steve can cheat sometimes. Yeah, those blocks as an edge guard really are something else. Oh, and forward air calling out the minecart yet again. I wonder if he'll do it again. No, very smartly placing down blocks near the ledge. The two big tends to get out of those minecarts around the same area, making it easy for upside down to call them out with those powerful back airs. Definitely a common uh, habit amongst Steve players, and doing a very good job of just saying, no, you've got to respect my range. And now, starting to make a comeback is uh, too big here. Definitely need to see uh, upside down, not choking. This is doable with a couple of neutral wins. Oh, we could smart. see the momentum shift. Hitting the TNT so he can't blow it up whenever he wants to. Oh, and another forward air, but not quite going to do it. Maybe an up air would have killed there, but Steve's got no materials. He can't even minecart right now. This is dangerous. Oh, but he gets a grab. And getting that, getting those materials. Going for an aggressive edge. Let's trap. Let's see. Oh. And we'll pay for that. Not quite going to kill yet, though. At 143, Tubic's living, but going to roll again into that F smash. Yeah, definitely can't be falling for that one again. Uh, upside down doing a really good job of calling out Tubic's habits here. Throwing out more of that. I almost thought I would see a, a uh, punish on that clank there. Okay, and starting to actually set up this wall. I like uh, upside down not overextending, just trying to keep his lead, though he's got to be afraid of that diamond now. Oh, caught with that minecart. Will the edge guard work? No. Oh, very smartly weaving his way around those blocks. And now if he can just extend this lead a little bit more, this could be just about in the game. Just in the bag. So we've seen... Oh, but getting minecarted, up smash? Mine oh, cards. great mash. Doing the directional air dodge out of that. Oh, Steve's got the diamond and ready to box. Oh, and with the block there, that's a scary situation. But upside down, really avoiding Steve's tools well here, just not dying. At 134, uh, we all know that Steve can kill kind of early sometimes, but right here, he's struggling. Forward air? Yep. Yep. And he gets that. All right, but solid lead here. Uh, Steve does have diamond, so upside down needs to be careful. But, very good ooh! But calling out that spot dodge with an F smash. Upside down, just calling him out. Solid play there. I, I, I gotta admit, I never heard of 